the man to watch. What a fabulous start to the season for him. Does he have more goals in his future? Stay with us. And here we are at the home of Leeds United since their formation back in 1919, Elland Road. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and alongside me is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Leeds United facing Everton. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. And a look at the starting 11 for Leeds United. Well, in this shape, their two holding midfield players will be key today. If they can get on the ball and dictate the play, protect the two centre-backs, it will then allow the attacking players to show their creative quality. And here's the team for Everton. Well, they're playing in a 4-5-1 formation, which is set up to counter-attack at pace. Yes, they'll play with a flat midfield out of possession, but when they win the ball back, they'll break forward really quickly. Let's hope they play it well today. And the contest begins. Can they create something? Nicely saved. <laughs> Delivering it. And the header off target, but resolute defence. And there's been a goal at Villa Park, so as ever, we joined Alex for an update. It's a goal for Villa. They're the first on the score sheet here with six minutes play. Thanks for the update, Alex. No high quality defending. Mohamed Madi Kamara. Well, for Leeds United, a very good victory in the last game against Crystal Palace. What do you expect this time around, Stuart? Well, their 2 0 win was an excellent all round display, particularly the way they won the ball back. And when you look at the two teams today, I'd expect them to win again. They should be too strong for their opponents here. Well, he always has to be regarded as a dangerous opponent, so what should we expect to see from him in this game, Stuart? Well, I think we can expect goals if his form is anything to go by. You just hope that back line have been studying the tapes because most teams have really struggled to keep him at bay. Great strong tackle, throw in forthcoming. And he's beaten him here. Throw in coming up for Everton. Patterson. Delivered into the area here. And in the end, no damage done. Ryan Gold he's in control of the situation Gold well it could be on for him here terrific save well that's a top class save he read it so well well just listen to these fans they're urging their team to score here and take the lead and played short now sliding in field. In search of space. Tremendous block. And the danger is averted. 
Could be a chance to break here. Gray. Well read to ease the pressure. A move of promise on the flank. Oh, a lovely ball. He just needs to stay level-headed there. And there it is. 1-0. The efforts have been rewarded. And look at the celebrations. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. The match has restarted. 1 0 here. Western McKenney. So, getting close to the half time interval, and it's going with home advantage, albeit not by a lot. Stuart, what have you made of what you've seen so far? Well, it's been a tight game so far, but they've just had that little bit more quality on the ball, particularly in midfield, where they've just started to take control. They'll be fairly happy going in at half time if it stays like this. And there it is, the half-time whistle. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed it. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Rodrigo, can he put it away? And a goal to really bolster things for them. Two in front. Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Tom Davis. Well, great read there to intercept. I must say, this looks promising. And Alex is going to tell us about a goal that's been scored at Villa Park. Yep, another goal for Brighton. They're back in this now with 56 minutes played. Many thanks as ever, Alex. That's what you call defending from the front. Possibilities here. And the snuffing out of the cross there. And don't forget, we have more Premier League action coming up for you on EA TV. It's Leeds United facing Tottenham Hotspur. Giving it a try. Well, he hit it with authority. Close. And the substitution will occur now. And Everton unable to retain possession. And he has options available. Good visualisation and execution. Oh, showing excellent vision. And there it is! Three goals in front now. An immense performance. Well, here's the goal again. And what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Is this going to be a thrashing? 3-0 now. And into the last 20 minutes. And that's an important intervention.
Oh, that's a well-timed pass. Well, a poor effort when all was said and done, and simple for the keeper. Well, he's made a real mess of that, hasn't he? What a chance that was. Well, I'm hearing there's been a goal in the Liverpool game. Alex Scott can fill us in. Yep, it's a goal for Nottingham Forest. They've pulled one back and now trail by one with just over 10 minutes left to play. Alex, thank you very much. Can he finish this? And the keeper was up to the task. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready and now they will make the personnel change. Number 17, Alex Iwobi. Trying to pick out a teammate. It hasn't come to very much. Well, they'll try to keep the pressure on in the form of another corner. No trouble at all as far as the keeper was concerned. Harrison. Rutter. But he could run onto it here. He's just got to continue his run. A goal! An exceptional performance, this. Four to the good now. Well, here's the replay. The pass over the top has just the right amount of pace on it. But when he shoots, I expected him to go across the goalkeeper. He should never beat the goalkeeper inside that near post. That's not good keeping. A lopsided contest, 4-0. The electronic board has been held in the air and we're going to have a minimum of four added minutes. A meaty but fair challenge and it will be a throw-in. And that'll be an Everton throw-in. Cody it will be now dangerous looking through ball and there goes the final whistle reasons for Leeds United fans around the world to be cheerful following this victory you're absolutely right Derek their attacking play was excellent full of energy and pace and the midfield completely dominated the game it was a great all-round performance well really no complaints whatsoever about his performance in this game Stuart well, I thought he was excellent. Not only did he score a good goal, but his general play was outstanding. He certainly played a major part in their win here today.